Fargo. I'm uh, working on the sound crew here at Fiddle Tunes, uh, as I have since the very first year Fiddle Tunes existed, which was in 1977 here at Fort Warden. Uh, the very first festival of American Fiddle Tunes took place. And it was very exciting then, and it's very exciting today. At the very beginning, the fort was in much more disarray. Uh, it had only recently made the change from a treatment facility to a formal state park. In fact, I've had it explained to me that Centrum and the Fort Warden State Park were created in the same stroke of the pen in Olympia. So they have been partners in a funny sort of temporal way all that time, all the way since the mid-70s. And by 77, a local fella wanted to have this festival. And so the word went out and a bunch of us played at it. I played in a band that played old southern music and uh, the Gypsy Gippo String Band. And we came out and played and uh, generally led a lot of hilarity. We did dancing and taught people how the music went and what the sources were. And the place was very funky. It was uh, not, not very well cleaned up and the buildings were sort of falling apart. And so it was before the days of Officer and a Gentleman, which was filmed here in the 80s, I believe, which resulted in having a lot of the places cleaned up a little bit for the cameras. And it still was pretty industrial around the place. Uh, but we found it uh, quite a comfortable setting to have music parties and lots of workshops where we studied music from people who lived from faraway places like Appalachia and Canada and Mexico and learned a lot about their music and all the common denominator always was traditional fiddle it had to do with music that you learned in a traditional setting and passed on largely by the oral means where a person just sees so much of it they get curious of how to play and they practice and they get with their friends and they try it and this building here has always been that sort of thing where people would just get into nooks and crannies and play together and try and teach each other how to do this and it's taking a piece of our cultural property and putting it into our lives that's sort of the whole idea yeah Today the place is very formal and very cleaned up and we have this six million dollar uh, dining hall and meeting space across the way. Uh -huh. 